a team of social psychologist Robert Levine visited one or more major cities to measure three indicators of the tempo of life in each country. First, they measured the average walking speed of randomly selected pedestrians over a distance of 60 feet. The second focused on an example of speed in the workplace. Third, as an estimate of a city's interest in clock time, they observed the accuracy of 15 randomly selected bank clocks in main downtown areas in each city. The three scores for each country were then statistically combined into an overall pace of life score. As results, people were prone to move faster in places with vital economies, a high degree of industrialization, larger populations, cooler climates, and a cultural orientation toward individualism. And they compared these pace of life scores to the rates of death from coronary heart disease. What was the result? The higher the pace of life score, that is, the faster places were much more likely to have higher rates of death from heart disease. According to Robert Levine's book, A Geography of Time, on Tempo, Culture, and the Pace of Life, there is an inscription on the narrow gauge Darjeeling, Himalayan, Railway, that reads, Slow is spelled with four letters, so is life. Speed is spelled with five letters, so is death. Beyond doubt, the most salient characteristic of life in the 21st century is its speed. But the question to be considered is whether this rapid rate is in itself a good. Check once if you also suffering from the so-called hurry sickness, in which you compelled to rush even in the absence of real external time pressures.